Well, good afternoon. So it's a pleasure to say a few words at this special event and to share some of the ideas and the experiences we've had at the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences over the past 10 years. So I'd like to begin with a slide. And this is an unusual view of Table Mountain. Most people, when they see Table Mountain, they see it from the front on the, you know, on the tourist uh, uh, glossy magazines, that's what one sees. But when I come to work every morning, that's what I see, okay? Now we look across at Table Mountain, and before us we see Kailicha, a growing suburb and informal settlement. But in that suburb, there are many, many young, talented people, many that are creative, many that need opportunities. This is what we are trying to do at Ames. Okay, so I continue and I arrive at Musenberg and we've got a warm old building. It's not really much to look at, but what's special about it is inside, it's the people that are there. We have talented students from all over Africa. We have wonderful lecturers from all over the world. And we have an innovative model to help them grow in mathematical science and make a contribution to solving Africa's problems. That's what we're on about. Now, if we have a look at the kind of program we run, well, it is mathematical sciences because mathematical science underpins most of what we do today, okay? It is postgraduate, so we take students from everywhere in Africa, but they've already got a four-year training before they come to the Ames Center. So it's mathematical sciences in action. We don't want to be like a regular university. We don't want to have students sitting there and just becoming tired and bored and listening. We actually want them to interact work with people, and learn, share, and become part of the growing experience in a 24-7 environment. So they live there, eat there, the lecturers live there, eat there, and so on. That's what happens. And it's been running for 10 years, and it's pretty successful. I'd like to show, share with you, this is a very short talk because it's just added onto one of the, the main event, but I'd like to show you a little bit about, about what we've done. So it's a been regarded as an innovative center. It's helping to build science in Africa. In the past 10 years, we've had 421 graduates. We've had, oops, 130, that shifted down. 130 are women. They are coming from 35 countries, okay? We have 250, one of them are still in, in, in Africa. 67 are in Europe, 39 in North America, and eight in Asia and the Middle East. So that's where our students are at the moment after they've graduated, gone on to do things. We have 50, after doing our program, 55 of them have gone on to do PhDs. 233 have got master's degrees out of that 421 to start with. Now, if you think one of the greatest problems we have in Africa is that we really don't have skilled manpower. We don't have lecturers in the universities. Well, 61 of them have gone back and are teaching in Africa. Of them, 50 are lecturers, some are heads of department, okay? Some are working in industries, in banks, and so on. There are 41 working in industry, and in South Africa itself, 16 are teaching or lecturing at universities. So that's a remarkable change. And of course, it's caught the imagination of governments, it's caught the imagination of people internationally who have seen what we're doing, find it exciting, and actually are contributing. What has happened is we have an impact, you know, a domino effect of opportunities. So two years ago, we launched a new center in Senegal. And this year, we've launched a new center in Ghana. And later this afternoon, Neil Turok, who was the founder, will be telling you a little bit more about the development in Africa. So we feel that, that you know, knowledge is the future, as, uh, uh, as Bruce said, but in fact, we feel that it's there and we're going to play a part in it. And it's great to be able to do that. Thank you.